<laughs> Good evening. I am Dr. Sasha, but some call me Dr. Dread. <laughs> yes, why do I get that name? Because when I help people fall asleep, they fall into a sleep that they can never, ever escape. <laughs> mm. Are you going to be my next victim, you say? Well, good. You've come to the right place. Unfortunately, my last victim couldn't survive my practices and procedures. Here's Jimmy. Jimmy had a tough time. He had a real tough time. I just tried to do some standard things on Jimmy, but unfortunately, Jimmy couldn't pass the test. Mm. Poor Jimmy. But I do think you, on the other hand, could pass each and every test that I conduct. You think you could? Well, would you like me to start with a foot? On the other hand, Peter also was not too fond of my different uh, rigorous training I put him through. He um, couldn't keep up <laughs> yeah, tickle, tickle. Oh, there's nothing left. Too bad he can't get ticklish anymore. <laughs> yes, and sometimes I even like to practice on the rodents I see outside when I'm driving my vehicle. This one, would you like to see? I left him in a boiling pot to see if he could withstand the temperature. I just like to see some things crawl slash escape, if you know what I mean. Oh, oops. This one also didn't make it. But you know what did? His beautiful, beautiful skeleton. He's been a good decoration for me, actually. I like to keep him, you know, around my home. He also sounds good. Doesn't that sound tingly? Doesn't that sound inviting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, my different procedures can be known as unpractical, just a little impractical. I like to use different types of utensils, and those utensils might be known to be I don't know, get a little bloody. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, everything I do always has an outcome. It may be good, it may be bad, but there's always a good solution to making me happy. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and get started. I just want to see first 
If your lights, my lights, your eyes, and my eyes can keep up. <laughs> okay. Here, this is just an easy utensil that I use on all of my victims. Oh, I don't mean victims. Patients. Yeah, that's right. Patience. So, let's go ahead and see if you can follow my light and see if you can keep up. We can go ahead and go on to the next test. Does that sound good? Don't move your head. Follow my light. my light. Don't look anywhere else. Can you follow this light? Don't look at my hand. Follow the light only. Mm -hmm. Just keep following. That's it. my finger. Yes, with that eye closed. Very good. Just like that. Good. Now, close that other eye, would ya? Good job. Tell me when you see my light. Mm-hmm, just say yes. Mm-hmm, and say yes again. Okay. Okay. Oh, very good. Now again, keep that eye closed. Follow my finger. <laughs> Follow my finger. Mm, very good. Mm, quite impressed. Well, it's safe to say that you passed the first test. Mm -hmm. But there's a couple more. I want to see if you can still keep up. Okay. Close your eyes. Good. Very, very good. Good. Now, I'm going to gently just blow on you, and I want you to tell me where you feel it. <laughs> Very good. And again. Very good. One more time. Very good. And one more time. Hmm. Not bad. Open your eyes. What? I just like to play with it from time to time. I wasn't doing anything while you were keeping your eyes closed. I promise. I pinky promise. Give me your pinky. Give it to me. Okay. Maybe not. Sometimes I get carried away. Well, final and last test. Are you ready? Let me just feel around. Feel around. Feel over 
Feel up here. And feel up and down. Since you're locked up in my castle and you've passed all my tests, you are <laughs> ready to be my next victim. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> mm.